to end the film. تتوالى نهايات اليوم التاسعة بأرمئة متر ستيف إثنان وأربعون نهاية سيدة So the first field final is the men's javelin, F44, and we are underway with Helge Sveinsson of Iceland. World champion going in this, Tony Falamavaki of France, European champion Jonas Budis of Lithuania. That's a serious throw straight away by Sveinsson in this F44 category. Wonderful 14, championship 16, record 55 80. This was not an event at the Paralympic Games, but we have a championship record straight away. Watch out for Akim Stewart as well in this. Fernandez of Cape Verde. That's another good throw. Now that is beyond 50 meters. It's heading towards where the uh, markings change a little bit. Obviously, there are uh, markings for later events which have been laid out as well. That is 53 36. And the man from Cape Verde is in the silver medal position. Maxim Solyankin of the Ukraine. European silver last year. 55-64 his lifetime best. Way off at 48-46, but he's in third position. Narendra Ranbir of India in the first round of the javelin. It's the F44. There are 16 in this, by the way, and that's a good distance. That's beyond the 50 metre line. Gives him a good position. Chance to shoot up the table here. Looks to have stuck right on the 50. Lots of the field here have won medals either at the uh, F42 category or in this F44, 49.94 for Ranbir, and he goes into third place. Well, here, but now, here he Akeem comes, Stewart. Akeem Stewart. His first throw of the competition from a standing start. He set the Javelin world record at the Parapan Games back in August. I'll give you a little story. He entered the Javelin in Toronto at the Parapan Am Games. Why did he enter the Javelin? Because there was no shot put competition, and he set the world record for the F43. So Akeem Stewart is a very strong man indeed. And when he works on his technique, it will be huge. 52.35 with his opening attempt puts him into third position for Akeem Stewart. So, Van Der Merwe, Mr. Shiram 1160 and just uh, one 100th outside that. Now, this is Hetty Achichide for Sri Lanka. And that, a lifetime best as he throws it around 45 metres. Joe will hope that 1216 will be good enough to get him through as well on a free end. Tremendous Sapa Hetty, 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 Canada's Alistair McQueen with his first throw. 51-42, his lifetime best. Man, Canada. 
in the field, men's triple jump, final, T20. There are the athletes. Amongst them is uh, Ionis, 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 Ionis of Greece. A 12.44 jumper this year, over 13 metres. Sarah Heli of Saudi Arabia. Approaching 40.75. Yes, you do need water today. It is humid. Second round attempts from Cape Verde. To Costa Fernandez. 53-36 with his opener. That there. Looks as though it's gone past it. This time we do get away. And Whitehead moving now. But inside him, Muhammad comes very strongly. And Vadovin and Dutoy, these are the three getting away. Vadovin's going to get there. 56-24, a new continental record for the man from Cape Ford. Bird even. Marcio Miguel da Costa Fernandez. He leads after his second round attempt. Andre Vadovin has got gold in the two and the four. So looking to join that club of three gold medalists here at these uh, championships. Well, 53.87, the man from Cape Verde was his best coming into this. And Mustafa, the fellow Muhammad, he has gone well past that silver medalist from two years ago. Maxim Solyankin in sixth position, 48-46 with his first attempt. Solyankin, a silver medalist at the European Championships last year. Having run 12-16, so 12.05 to 12.16, I make the two fastest times out of the top three. So Best of 55-64. So not as far as his first, he's in seventh position. So the men's javelin, we're into the second round and it's Narenda Ranbeer. Uh, 49.94 in the opening round, and that goes beyond the 50-meter line. Very good throw. Of the man from India, who's become a live contender here. And that looks to be an improvement. It is. It's 52.35, and that moves him up into fifth place. Top six men all over 50 meters. A lot in behind that. And has he got the necessary reward? He has. He's up to fifth. 52, 35. Akim Stewart. What power this man has. The upper body strength. That uh, astonishing world record which he uh, set at the Para Pan Ams in Toronto. That's it. No run up doesn't need any. I mean, look at that, that's absolutely humongous. That's almost 55 meters. His world record is 53.36. With that kind of technique, he looks as if he was born to do it. He must have such great technique in that shoulder and power. That's just amazing to watch. And then, uh, there we go. You had it in me. And that's a world record for his category. 53. 69 fourth place. This is incredible. Rory McSweeney from New Zealand, 50 42 is lifetime best. Do you know what? There are a lot of athletes who would wish they could do, could do, what the man from Trinidad and Tobago, Akim Stewart, can do. So McSweeney having a good tilt at this, and it's another solid long one. Up towards 55 meters. Continental record already in the first round, 55 meters 80, which has him up in second place for Oceania. That won't be as far. It's Fernandez of Cape Verde currently in front with the continental record of 56-24. And that a solid attempt as well. And McSweeney, 53-10, he stays in second place. Rory McSweeney, 
53-10. So it stays in the silver medal position. And we're about to start at round three with a man currently in the bronze medal position. This is the F42 championship record holder of 55-18, Nervy Steinson. Helgi Sveinsen then has set a new championship record for the F42 class with his opening throw. That was 55 for 18. This is his third. His third overall, the man from Iceland. F42s. I would imagine that wish there are four in this particular event. There is one F43, who is Akim Stewart. Will go through. And the rest are F44s. But there you go. Steinson stays in third position, 45-71. Not as good as his opener, which was around 10 metres further. Up next, it's Frauser's Tony Falalavaki. 53.01 with his first. Which was his best after his over 48.14. Fala Lavaki. He's in fifth position, doesn't improve on his second round throw. Gold medalist from Two years ago, fellow Lavaki in his native France. Lifetime best. This man from Bulgaria. Decho Otcherov. Competition from Oberoi of Netherlands, 13-13. And tonight is the freeze in third, 12-08 in the second round. 43-66 is best today. This is third attempt for the Bulgarian. That there, though, is a red flag. And Junior of Portugal looks like he's gone long in the second round. Give that result so Otra won't improve on his second round effort. He's in 14th position at the end of three throws. Here we are, Yu Fan Long with his third attempt. He's down in 16th position at the moment. 42.11 with his second. We saw Akeem Stewart in the background there, walking around. Can't wait till he throws again. Doesn't he give it some? Has this man? No. 38.39, he's in 16th. Narenda Ranbir, currently in sixth position. Competitor one fifty-two thirty-five with his last effort. Sixth place at the moment. He's got Falavaki on fifty-three oh one, who sits in front of him in fifth. Fifty meters. Well, that won't be as far though. He is around the fifty meter mark. for the F43 category. Now, if you weren't listening a little while ago, this man turned up at the Parapan Am Games in August. He entered the javelin in Toronto because there was no shot put. Set the world record for the F43, a standing start. And that there is very big again. 53-69 is what he has to beat with his second throw. That there looks as though it is bigger. Isn't this man a crowd pleaser? That is incredible strength. 
you'd say almost beyond incredible. 53.91, a new world record for Akeem Stewart in the F43 category. He's already picked up bronze in discus at these championships. He's in fourth position. You can throw it further, his coach says. You know you can. Another world record at 43 for King Stewart, 53.91 for a man from Trinidad and Tobago, stays in fourth place. Getting towards the end of the third round, the top eight will all come back for attempts in rounds four, five and six. At the moment, that's Amidi, Steinstad, Rambeer, Kalavaki. The Sri Lankan here just trying to make sure he's mentally prepared before he steps onto that runway. Oh, he's wait he may, be have, may have been waiting for his favourite javelin to come back. He may have been thrown just beforehand. And he's done a McEnroe and asked for the ace ball back. It happens when I go bowling. Arachige then. Tremendous up at Haiti, Arachige. Here's the throw, heading out towards 50, very close to it too from the Sri Lankan. Uh, lying in 12th place at the moment, needs to improve by just about 2 metres 20 in order to get himself a spot in the final three throws. On the track, men's 1500 metre, this is the T11 final. Solid effort so far. It has lifted him up to ninth place, 48.97, but he needed another 42 centimetres and he'll miss on the final three throws. Is the men's javelin throw F44 final on this man, Hakeem Stewart? His fifth throw of the competition from a standing start, nonetheless. And that is big again. Fifty-three point nine one with his third throw. A new world record for his category, the F43. But that there has increased it again. 54.77, a new world record in the F43 category. If you're wondering why he's in fourth position, because there are a mixture of F42, F43 and F44 athletes in this competition. Rory McSweeney now for his fifth throw. He'll be hoping his native New Zealand can win the Rugby World Cup on Saturday. But here, he's trying to win the javelin throw F44 final. Rory McSweeney's second position, 54.87, 55.80 his first, a new continental record is his best so far. Could pick up another gold medal for that hat as well. Anyway. Time now to go to the javelin throw at F44. Well, this man be dancing after this throw, like they were just a moment ago. Let's see. It's over the 50 metre mark. Very much a two-man race this between Brad Scott of Australia, who's done 4.15.91 this year, and Michael... 52.23, he remains in first place, does Marcia Miguel da Costa Fernandes of Cape Verde. Alicia Piedro. Feinson in the javelin as that competition comes towards its close. Well, 
of solid throwing in the first round, 55-18. There are three different categories in this, and despite it being a, an F44 final. He has a championship record, but he has third place. So now, final attempt for Rory McSweeney, area record, 55-18 for Oceania. He lies in second. Sveinsson needed to improve by just over half a metre. It's bronze for Sveinsson. McSweeney has to go beyond 56. Gold medalist, and, and that won't do it. It's 53-80. That was the 55-meter line, so it's silver for McSweeney, which means it will be gold for Cape Verde. Representing the USA, and we need to stress that last race, the women's AO meters T11. That's an unofficial result at the moment. So we are waiting on confirmation for the official result for that. And also that only two athletes will receive a medal in that event because there was only four starters. You are correct, Ebeno Hanlon. You should be a competitor. On the screen, here is your javelin throw F44. Alessi Fernandez, who was a champion in, in the javelin. Competition. Gold medals in the bag. Four victory. That is the just start. beyond 50 metres. An and Kate Vane have and the gold medal. Gosta Fernandez takes gold in the F44 javelin from Rory McSweeney of Silver New Zealand. Two silver years ago. And Helgi Sveinsson of Iceland, the bronze. Now here he is. Well, uh, Midania League well, World Champion Manafasa Marcio Miguel da Costa Fernandez. You such a Went down as a foul in the end, but it really doesn't matter. As he takes the honours. It's a great victory for Cape Red. So a continental record as Fernandez takes the gold for Cape Verde. Rory McSweeney, continental record with the silver for New Zealand, and Sveinsson, championship record with the bronze for Iceland. Stewart, in his category, gets a world record for Trinidad and Tobago, but it is fourth place. And Cape Verde with their first ever gold medal at an IPC Athletics World Championships, and only their second ever with Fernandez winning the first silver a couple of years ago.